Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Welcome back to my time bench.、Um, today I'm going to tie、um, the,、uh, the world famous Kappa John in、uh, black and then、um, on a carved、uh, hook, scud hook. And then,、uh, you know, I don't have to explain the,、uh, how effective, what a great fly is, you know, fly the Kappa John is. And then, uh, but uh, I don't think you see many of these、uh, black, black and the carved version here. So, this is、um, uh, Grace Fly. So, I'm gonna tie in, I'm gonna tie with、uh, size 14, tie wiki 135, and then I kind of、uh, I already tied in、um, uh, tail here because of the angle. It's kind of bit,、um, hard for me to work and also to save some.、Um, Uh, time, anyways, uh, bead uh, gold or、uh, black or、uh, nickel or even the copper,、uh, you know, bronze. All I think they're all good. Then、um, I added some wire here to hold um, this um,、uh, bead in the, in, in the spot in position here. Then I tie in this.、Um, uh, Goose by your tail, then I wrap the、uh, butt all the way up to uh, against um, against this uh, wire, so、uh, red wire, I mean. Then I'm gonna trim that. Then this is the、uh, ultra wire, ultra wire black.、Uh, this uh, uh, brassy is. I pretty much use this for all the sizes. I tie this in 14, 16, down to 18.、Uh, 12, I, I, I tie 12 once in a while. And then,、uh, yeah, they're still good. But the majority of my fish tying and fishing are with、um, uh, 14 down to 18. And、uh, I'm trying to make. make、um, Uh, good taper, really under under body with、uh, thread here, so it's gonna be a smooth transition from um, um, from this、uh, thread from here thread to the red. So、uh, actually, I think this is the、uh, uh, first point of this uh, uh,、um, pattern to achieve a good pattern. So. I just can't go、uh, go super quick with, in this process. Right next to each other. So, without effort, my、uh, the abdomen should be tapering up. So, that's why. Um, the、uh, tapered underbody is very important. And I proceed over the uh, uh, abdomen, although we know it's not going to be hidden somewhere around here. So, this is a very、um, Heavy, uh, heavily weighted, and then、uh, I like it. I use my old scissor to trim this one. So, why it's done now?、Um, this is involved in so many steps, so many materials. That was why I wasn't able to,、um, uh, didn't interest me to tie. Uh, when I was a、uh, you know, amateur、uh, fisher and the fly tire,、yeah? but then again, uh,、um, uh, this is a fast material, maybe.、Um, this is what's called a thin skin, or I like thin skin. You can find this, it comes in with a you know, sheet, and I、uh, cut like that, cut in a strip.、Uh, This is about、uh, hook gap length, gap width,、um, with a you know,、um, 
straight nymph hook especially so it's hard to measure how to say exactly gap so it's definitely you know uh, not as wide as this of this uh, carved hook so i'm gonna tie in this i think the recipe is calling for like a black but this one i'm using a well this actually i use this for you know like olive and motto olive and this one just works just fine oh Ah, let's take it that way. <laughs> that was a um, uh, explanation for next fly. First, actually, I tie in this uh, pearl uh, crystal fresh blue. I'm gonna loop that, tie in in the tooth, make it two strands. So, this is where the thorax starts. I'm gonna hold here. Sorry. Now I'm gonna tie in the thin skin. Right now, over the uh, uh, flash. Then I tie in. We want a really nice uh, uh, large, healthy uh, thorax. So we w I'm gonna tie in several strands of uh, 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 several strands of uh, pico cow. Okay, this should be enough. Then the two st to uh, stimulate legs is a, a Hungarian partridge. Trim off the tip here, so now it should be like that. Then uh, this is gonna go to either side of the fly, and then I kind of found the. Uh, um, uh, this should be okay, but if you want to more even and the thick bow, uh, uh, legs, see what I did. I tied, I tied another B and the remaining V here. Gather uh, both like that. Then tie in. Hold like that. Either side. We can adjust the length later if we want to. And then... When I... T um, Tying this thread, when I go off, I push, pull my thread further away from me, straight away from me. So when it comes back, straight toward me, not down, you know. So this this method uh, with this um, the, uh, the uh, these legs, fibers, you know, uh, feather uh, barbs stay really well. So you can adjust to lengths if you want to. Then maybe. One more ups. I'm using 8 of thread by the way. 70 denier will be a um, um, 70 denier will be a great fly, a great uh, great thread. Then um, this should be great. It might be a bit longer than standard, but it's okay. Then uh, first, I'm gonna pull over this see this is gonna make a nice thorax uh, the uh, uh, case like that and I'm gonna pull th these two strands on top of that see that's why we have to tie in this uh, flush book first two and then the three okay Trim two at the same time. 
And then, um, I proceed the thread underneath, then I trim as nice as possible. Sometimes, you know, if you want to be too nice, um, you cut the thread actually, I've done before. And then now the short, you know, but stand up and you can't fix that again. So now, well, I'm going to, I'm happy to whip finish here. Just a regular whip finish right behind the bees. Then, um, next material, then the last procedure. Uh, original calling for epoxy, but uh, that's why, you know, epoxy, we end up using the bark. So unless it's a professional epoxy, you know, uh, um, costs cost, cost us a lot, you know, unless we take uh, several dozens, which, um, uh, majority of you know amateur fly fish and fly tire don't need that much or time either so I think the best alternative is this uh, loom hard head and then I'm gonna apply this good amount uh, generous amount on top thorax and definitely along this uh, uh, without touching legs I apply along a uh, and, uh, whip finish And then uh, I even go over to the uh, abdomen here. So usually uh, I do two or three coats. So, but uh, uh, once it's dried, it's kind of uh, slightly kind of shrink. So, so, uh, so apparently we don't have time for that. And anyways, uh, this is the. Uh, uh, kappa John black and a curved hook and then uh, so if you have struggled how to tie this pattern um, um, Yeah uh, uh, Here it is and then you can try red and then the original kappa. They're all good uh, That are yellow maybe blue olive, you know, you can tie whatever you want. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching